Jamal Nyaz here with a victorious Tasha Jonas. I mean, what a historic night for yourself. We were at the gym a few weeks ago and you were saying how much little girl praises your sister after an incredible um, England um, Euros win. She's now got something else to cheer her about. Are you going to tell her, listen, this is where it's at, the world champion's here? <laughs> Yeah, I don't think she'll listen. I'm just mum today, so I'm boring old mum. You're cool mum now. Uh, well, hopefully, hopefully. Um, <laughs> but yeah, she'd probably be screaming for more for Nikita's goal than she was for, for my belt tonight. But, you know, um, yeah, I just want to do her proud and, you know, all the sacrifices that I make with her, I just want to make, make sure they're worth it and, and then they are. I mean, it, it was utter domination in there from, from start to finish. It couldn't have gone any better, could it? The, the power was evident from the get-go. Just in terms, I know you said that Joe was giving it you a bit in between rounds like he always does. Um, do you think that is actually a help though? Because it makes you step it up every round and makes you think maybe I'm not doing as well as I think I'm doing. So I need to give it even more than what I can give. Yeah, I think Joe knows what I've got in the locker. So he wants to pull the best out here. He knows what I've gone through in sparring. and he knows what I do in training. So he's trying to pull that out every, every, every fight night. So, um, And he knows me inside out. So that's, that's what a good trainer does. And that's what, it, you know, any round that he thought you didn't win dominantly for Joe was too close and he wants you to win and he wants you to get them performances and in front of your own crowd and in front of your own fans he wants you to win. Uh, the emotion come out straight away after that. You were screaming something to the audience. I can't quite remember what you were screaming afterwards. It's something like doubt, doubt me now sort, sort of thing, something like that. Um, and the new. And the new, yeah. That's me, me, one of my cousins, Gary. Um, he's got a, a phrase and he's been saying it since Terry Harper and the new and the new so I was screaming to him because I could hear him shouting it and then just and all, all your family and friends were there like right right near us on, on Media Row just doing it in front of them as, as well and you know Joe's no, it makes no secret of the accolades and achievements that, that Gallagher's gym have made in, in the years just being a, a key figure in that now and, and, and stamping your, your place in history What's that like? That green and gold belt is, is something that every boxer wants to hold. Yeah, it was special. And, um, I can't we have, you let it out of your sight, to be honest. I know, I had to give her a back because she was going, but um, yeah, she's, she's, um, it's, it's, it's an amazing time and it's not even over. We're only in September. We've got the rest of the year to go. We've got Charlie Edwards, we've got British titles, we've got um, Paul in an in a, um, undisputed so you know there's a lot more to come from Gallagher's gym and, and I haven't finished either so because Ben make, makes no secret uh, how much of a supporter he is of you and um, the sort of adversities you've had to face um, in your life and in, in the ring as well just in terms of where you are now what was there any moments where you was thinking this might not necessarily happen is it, it was there always that determination to make it happen was there ever those doubts where it's just like that might have to pack it in now it might it might not might not be my time just yet i'd be lying if i said that i didn't ever doubt me that not doubt myself but i doubted the situations and i was going and you know i thought i won the harper the first time and it didn't get it and then i was one round away against katie and i didn't get it i was like is, is it ever going to happen for me and and you know, I sat down with Ben and, and, and made a plan, and he stuck to his word and provided me with every opportunity that I've got. And he keeps on pulling it out the bag, and, and, and that's why I've got to keep doing the same. It seems like a perfect partnership because since that move has happened, you know, you mentioned A side the other day, but you you walk into a room and you you, you garner attention. It's all all the focus is on you now, and you've got. The world at your feet in terms of the matchups that can be made, you know, the, the ranking Harper fight, you've got the opportunity if Harper comes through with that one to rectify that fight as well. And, you know, Katie Taylor's always an, an option as well to go back to as well. You've now got, not only you've achieved your world title dreams, but you can go back and right those, those, those wrongs that you, that you want to right as well because you're an utterly determined person. Yeah, and that's the, the thing. Sometimes there was a lot of risk for no reward. So people tend not to want to take them risk in, just in case. Um, and now I've got the rewards that people are more willing to take the risk because the reward's high as well and, and it gives me options and that's all I've ever wanted because sometimes they've been slim pickings. And just in terms of the rest of the year now, take it you're just going to relax and take that in because it's been a heavy year for you. You've, you've done a lot. Like I would advise you to just enjoy this now. Like Start Christmas early and just uh, start enjoying yourself. W would that be the right recommendation or do you straight back in the gym on Monday? 
practice and whatever, however and whatever opportunities present themselves, they'll take. So whether that's before or after Christmas, or whether that's before the end of the year, I'm I'm in the gym constantly, and not because. You know, it's a way of life. You can't. You will always want to be ready. I always want to keep myself fit. I've been doing that since the day I walked into the rotunda. You know, week in, week out on GB, always ready to go to the next tournament. And that's just what's ingrained. And as Gallagher's is no different. I'm always going to be ready. I always want to fight. And uh, whether that's now or after after Christmas, whatever, whatever presents itself, I'll do. Final one of all those scenarios that I just mentioned about possible matchups in the future. If you had to pinpoint one, what what would it be? The ultimate matchup that would be next for you? I think a shot and an undisputed. Um, I, uh, well, yeah, I'd have to do two fights if I wanted to do it at this rate, but to go down and, and fight McCaskill or whoever, um, I'll see who, who what, what the outcome of Aaron Chantal's fight is. That would be that's the ultimate goal. I, I, I keep saying this, but for for Everybody now, one belt just isn't enough. When you see everyone undisputed and so many undisputed champions at the minute, like that's the goal, that's the dream. Massive congratulations, Tasha. You've done your city proud, and uh, enjoy the, the rest of the night and uh, as many as many months ahead that you can before the next one. Nice one, thank you. Thank you.